Is it I made recording with in Logic Pro? Is Beethoven Symphony Number、no. Five? And I want to hear how it sounds like in GarageBand iOS on iPad. As we know, GarageBand iOS already have enough instruments for most of the creators. However, it doesn't have as many choices as in Logic Pro, especially when it comes to create classical orchestral music. In Logic Pro, you can recreate any performance of any orchestra in any concert hall. In GarageBand iOS on iPad, the choices are limited. You can imagine Logic Pro as the professional, world-famous orchestra, while GarageBand iOS on iPad is like the high school orchestra. It's still possible to recreate or perform the great music such as Beethoven Symphony Number、no. Five with some limitations. So in second part of the video, I'll be discussing with you the issues that GarageBand iOS had and if there's any way to solve the problems. In order to be able to edit the Logic Pro project in GarageBand iOS on iPad, you will have to make the project in Logic Pro the MIDI file and export as a MIDI file to GarageBand iOS. As you know, we cannot open Logic Pro in iPad yet. To export as a MIDI file, first click on File in the menu bars and export. Then on MIDI tracks as MIDI file. Save your project on desktop and a drop to your iPad. After you receive the file from AirDrop, open with file, save to GarageBand file transfer. You open a new GarageBand project in iPad. Click on the Apple Loop slash file icon on the right hand side of the metronome icon. Drag the file, and here I encounter my first issue. As you can see, all the MIDI tracks immediately being assigned to the piano instead of the instruments that I had before with Logic Pro. So you will have to edit and select the instruments after this. So far, this is the only way to solve this problem. The second issue here is about the transposition. I had some transposed tracks in Logic Pro, but after exporting to GarageBand iOS on iPad, they are not transposed. So you will have to do the transposition again here. To do the transposition, choose the track that you are going to do the transposition. Click on Track Settings, then you can choose how you have to transpose by semitone or by octave. This is how it sounds like after transpose some of the tracks. I get used to transpose first and then change the instruments. To change the instrument, you click on the piano icon. Then you can start looking for the instruments that fits your need. The third issue I have here with GarageBand iOS is that it doesn't have enough instruments for the classical orchestral music. It has enough instruments for the basic orchestral music. But one of the most important thing for the orchestra, especially for the classical piece, is timpani. And I really wish that GarageBand iOS has the choice of timpani for us to do it. Since I don't have the instruments here in GarageBand iOS, I had to create the instrument myself. And I had some videos talking about this before. You can check in this channel. In one of the videos, I applied Japanese taiko drum as the sound of timpani. However, taiko drum doesn't have the pitch. Just like the timpani offers, so you have to add another instrument. And here comes to issue number four in GarageBand iOS on iPad. GarageBand iOS only offers 32 tracks, and sometimes you will have to sacrifice some of the instruments for your music. Of course, you can do the merge, or you can combine some of the MIDI together. But honestly, in this way, to work in GarageBand iOS is not as productive as you can do with Mac. Here you can hear how it sounds like if I use only one instrument upright to substitute timpani. It's not perfect, so in the end of the video, I will be showing you which other instrument that I added to make it sounds more decent.
issue number six here with GarageBand iOS on iPad is the tempo. The maximum tempo you can set here is 240. It's not such a big issue for this piece of music, but sometimes if you want some faster tempo for your own music or for some other orchestral music, it could be a big problem. In this way, I think the only solution for now is to export your music project to Mac to work in GarageBand in Mac or Logic Pro. Before I consider this project as finished or decent, I add a brass to the timpani part because up right here to me is a little bit off by itself and I think it's better to add another instrument to enhance the sound. Mm -hmm. 